I know what I'm doing. Hello, Internet. Welcome, everyone. I we are you. the Grim Brothers. I, I didn't know whether it needed an update. I figured it, you know, sort of need to go from the get-go. Yeah, start update. Around 2.8 gigabytes. Let's do it. Well, this is going to be a very entertaining episode, eh? Updating. Updating. <laughs> As you can see, I've barely had the Xbox One. You know, I've only had it since, like, what was it? September? October? Oh. I think it's September. I think that's when Sunset Overdrive came out. And yet, most of the data has already been taken up. Because... 20% of the data is not the most of the data. That's a well, I've only got two nine po uh, 295.2 gigabytes of 500 left. Yeah, but it says 19.1% used, so you're fine. Well, it's clearly wrong because that's almost 50% of the gigabytes. Liam, look, it's got a percentage sign and it's clearly shown on a pie chart-like diagram. It can't be wrong. It has to... It can, <laughs> statistics can't lie. Yeah, but... Liam, we are 1% through this download. 2.2 out of 500 is a pretty significant difference. Liam, mean, you realise we cannot have an episode of us downloading an <laughs> update. <laughs> Nah, we can't do this. <laughs> it's not on. You're going to have to put some visuals up. <laughs> so, visuals? What visuals of what? Cause I don't I'd, know. I'd have to draw Anything. My, I, I see like, a lot of people... Like, stick men dancing. I was about to say, I'd have to likely draw them all myself. Why don't we make this into a form of tea time? Yeah, sure, why yeah. not? Um, uh, what are your thoughts on the Xbox One? Cause we're I was actually going to talk about how... I wanted to play Project Spark a lot more than I actually have. Oh, okay. Then talk, talk about that. It's Xbox One related. It's that yeah. does well enough. So, okay. Tea Spark, time about Project Spark. Kind Go. of. Half tea time. Half tea time. Um, yeah. Well, the thing with Project Spark is I love the idea of creation games. I'm just really bad at them because I don't have any focus a lot of the time. I will start... Like with RPG Maker. Get a distracted and not do it. Um, but... The, the idea of the freedom that Project Spark gives you, I think, is really good. And the reason why I said that there was likely going to be updates before this is because when I started it, it was pretty much like when it came out or whatever, um, it had a few problems. One was its tutorial for creation was terrible. I heard it's supposed to be a very complex tutorial, but... The no, not really. The problem I had with it was it only explained a very limited amount when there is a lot <coughs> of things in Project Spark. And the problem is, to get the things working properly, you're not really... Experimenting doesn't really teach you anything, yeah. I find, with this. So, unless you're told how certain things work, it doesn't really help you, but the tutorial only really did that for a very limited number of things. It, like, all it tells you to how to make is a very basic platformer type game, but that's not really what I want to make. It doesn't tell you how to do a lot of things, and I presume that's because they want to give you the freedom to experiment. No, I presume it's because they didn't want to make all the tutorial straight away and wanted to release the game earlier, like a kind of early access type game. It was released but, as a beta quite early on. But not saying this is early access. They're, because the nature of the game, they have the ability to kind of release it unfinished. <coughs> as long as they've got the, oh, you can make things. We don't actually really need a tutorial because people will experiment or look online. And we don't really need a story mode kind of thing because other people make games. Story mode, fair enough. They, they, they do a small campaign and they do seem to sort yeah, of I know, indicate but that, that they're going that's to... That's not finished. Yeah, uh, but they do indicate that they're going to provide more of it as it goes along. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. the point I made. They, yeah. they don't have to finish it because that's not the nature of the game. So they're the cycle, well, I guess we'll do that later. Finish the creation bit. Do a bit of tutorial. We'll update the tutorial later and just release the game so we can get the money now. It, I mean, it basically is an early access, and whilst I don't have a problem with that, I find the lack of... I found the tutorial to be very inefficient for what I wanted to do, and also the currencies in the game. 
I oh, feel... I heard about the problem of that beforehand, and that's obviously because this game is, in a way, a free-to-play title. You know, you have to buy all the stuff. Well, or, well they want to play. They want to encourage you to try and buy, but give you the option to try and not have to buy. Um, well, it's less of a encourage you not to buy... Uh, encourage you to buy as if you don't buy you're never actually going to make anything because the rate you earn money in game currency is too slow it's stupid like you would have thought after you complete the like base campaign that they give you with one of the two characters or in our case three characters that you get because we had the special DLC code pack thing oh yeah on on that Um, note this is, uh, I believe I mentioned it earlier on, but in one of the playthroughs, oh, I think it may actually be the Knuckles one, which I haven't even uploaded at this point, so... But this Project Spark, I actually uh, won. Um, I was on the fence of whether to actually get the game. Yeah, I'd recently joined Pure Xbox as a website, um, as a member, and um, there was a competition going. I signed up for it, and hey, presto, I won! So, Pure Xbox, give us your money! <laughs> Thank you very much for sort of having that contest for your Xbox, because we've got this game, of which we're now able to use for recording. So, oh, but, should be a lot of fun. But no. back to your point, I just wanted to give the shout-out, because, you know, I felt it was deserved. Yeah, sure. And whatever. I would have done so anyway. As during the I was saying, um, yeah, like, you would have thought, once you complete the campaign with one of the characters, the campaign that they provide you, I know there's more of the campaign that's supposed to be coming, but they only provide you with, like, two chapters. You would have thought after you completed that much of the campaign, it would maybe let you unlock one of the other characters. You know, that would be the logical thing. Congratulations, you've done this base story of one of them. Now you have enough currency to unlock one of the hidden characters, kind of thing. That's usually what most things do. But no. Instead, it gives you pretty much nothing. Like, I completed it and done some extra stuff, and... I had barely enough money to buy anything. Like, because you can either buy individual items or items in the packs. But there's no point in buying individual items because, one, that's not efficient (coughs) money-wise. And, two, you get one item for a stupid amount of money. Like, you might as well buy them in the packs. But the problem is the packs... Like, you don't earn enough money to actually be able to reasonably buy packs. Because it's like... 10,000 points or something like that for to unlock the character and you don't earn nearly that many points. I also feel that you can't, like, I don't know if they're introducing it later or something or if it's just a matter that they want you to spend more money on different body shapes, but you can't, like, change the height of character models without shrinking them. So I can't have a short, fat guy because if I try making them short, it makes them thinner as well. Because it just shrinks them. And I feel like... That's a really odd thing. What's with the two Xbox One games and being unable to properly customise the uh, body size of the characters? Because Sunset Overdrive have complained of the fact that you couldn't make a fat character. Yeah, it, like... Not a single chance of being able to crit myself in that game. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you can customise all the colours and all that, but... What's the point in customising the colours if you can't make the character actually look like how you want them to look? And I'm sure they'll introduce, like, things later on. But I feel, at the moment, the game... Well, when I played it, the game wasn't complete enough for me to do anything with. But I'd, I'd have felt and, a bit ripped off if we'd actually have purchased the game. Yeah, and this was all I, that you could do. Because you they sell it like a kind of full game, but it was more like early access. I think... No, oh, no, no, that's Nintendo who are doing the uh, cheaper price option because I, I've, I felt that um, Microsoft may have charged less for this one, but um, if I remember correctly, it's only certain games which are yeah. reduced in price, and I don't think this was one of them, which it really should have, because, yeah. I mean, if, if, you know, people will release certain games and they'll, ch- for instance, uh, when, I think I think Capcom does it as well, but I know the when uh, Tenko Koe, Team Ninja, do the newer updates of the Dead or Alive games, they'll charge it for twen- a 10 quid less, the new update of it. Um, yeah. Because, you know, lots of people, will have, or at least the diehard fans, will have already bought the game. 
So if they want the new instalment, they're pretty much having to buy most of the same game over again. So yeah. they charge them at least 10 quid less, which is decent enough. But um, right. oh, I should bring this up so that we can actually know when to stop. <laughs> yeah. It's there. Ah. Not on the audio, because the audio starts earlier. I did not notice that. Um, But no, like, uh, you know how they advertised it, like, ooh, you can make your own... A uh, conquer bad fur day game. Or whatever. They haven't do- uh, uh, given you that stuff yet. No. And like, th- that's not in it. Yeah. So like, one of the main things they advertise isn't even in the game yet. Like, it could be this update for all we know. Could be. This like, two gigabyte update. It, it's things like that that make me think this game should have been advertise as early access like beta release kind of thing cause it's and much... released a much lower price because that's basically what it is like when I got Starbound I knew it was in beta it was early access and it wouldn't be complete and it was going to have a lot of changes done to it because they advertised it as such and I was okay with that because I really wanted to try the game out and I was like yeah I want to support this I would have supported Project Spark but because they didn't tell me that this is basically early access, I feel more ripped off. So, like, Heroes of the Storm, they say, this is closed beta, but you can buy a beta key kind of thing. And I was like, you know what? That's all right. I'm willing to do that. Because I know this this will, like, help them get more work done. Not that Blizzard really need more money, but (laughs) I love Blizzard, so I'll gladly give them some more money. Like, for a game that I have genuine interest in. You should really make yourself a Kickstarter account if you're interested in helping these uh, games get started up. Well, the thing is, like... Although you don't really earn consistently enough yeah, to properly do I that. don't earn money. Basically. I mean, I don't properly earn consistently, so really I shouldn't do nearly as many Kickstarters as I do. Yeah, but you earn a decent but amount I'm, of money. Well, actually, you it's really only, like, seven that I've done. I mean, there have been some I tried to do, like Hollow Knight I wanted to do, but... I, um. I held off because I didn't have the money, much money at the time, and luckily it managed to reach its Kickstarter goals that I wanted it to reach without having to pay for it. But I ended up uh, increasing the amount I paid towards the Twisted Fusion Kickstarter. We still need to get Shovel Knight. We do, as I also still want to get Costume Quest 2, but then again I also want I think to... Shovel Knight's a priority. Uh, to me, anyway. Well, to you, you know, you can pay for it yourself. It's only like ten quid, uh, eight quid now. I don't have... Actually, I do. I have tiny quid upstairs, but that's not the point. I don't have eight quid to spare No, your it, games. It, no, you have to use your card for it, because you can't put your cash into the Wii U. Yeah, I can. It doesn't work like that. What do you think the little disc thing serves us? For you, the discs! You take the disc out, you put your money in, and it sends it to Nintendo. True fact. No, no, no. Nintendo's machines make money. They don't eat money. No, it actually does. It, like, chews it up into tiny little bits and sends it through tiny little tubes and then it, like, rebuilds itself on the other end. Oh, yes, I can imagine it was. Very happy to receive ten quid in foreign currency. Well, he doesn't care. He's rich. (laughs) He doesn't need any more money than he has. In any case, you may want to wrap up because we're drawing to a close with this one. I think I've gone off my original point. (laughs) Basically, Project Spark, I really want to work on it, but the Mm. problem is... They don't... The, the base stuff they give you isn't enough for, like, what I want to do. And you can't earn in-game currency easy enough to, like, or quick enough to... And this is coming from a guy that plays World of Warcraft, may I add. They don't give you the stuff in a fair enough rate to justify spending that much time to get one pack. They, like try and force as much money out of you as they physically can and as someone that doesn't earn money i can't spend the money on it so at the moment there's nothing i can really do about it when i get a decent job maybe i'll spend more time on it but at the moment i feel they need to give you increased rate of currency in-game currency gain or just make things a bit cheaper and i feel they should have stated it was early access Okay, and that wraps things up. Hopefully, uh, after this, we'll actually be playing the game. Cheerio, everyone. We do apologise. Yeah, cheerio. And have fun for this unexpected tea time.